Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you here? Well, dead simple. We've got the Chatsworth pen. And as it says on the side, 14 karat, sorry, 14 karat gold nib, iridium tipped, guaranteed by Boots Stationery Department. So the Chatsworth pen. Hmm. What we've got for you here is another example of a pen that was made by a manufacturer and, well, dating the pen, I'd say manufacturer from round about the 1950s. So a pen made by a manufacturer for a department store or um, a shop of that particular period. So this one's the Chats Chatsworth pen. If I take the pen out of the box, and you can see there, the box itself is in absolutely superb condition. There's a slight rip to the corner there, but apart from that, excellent condition. So let's show you the pen. There we go. There's the pen for you. Now some of you will actually look at this pen straight away. Um, although this is the Chatsworth pen, it's ma it was made for the boots the boot store around the 1950s although saying that if we look at this pen we can see straight away who made this pen do you know who it was yes no well let me tell you it was burnham it was a pen made by burnham for the boots well, Boots the stationery because Boots as a company are actually still going very strong here in the UK as a chemist or a pharmacy. Now in the 1950s, 60s, they actually had a stationery department within their stores and this pen was made by Burnham um, for the Boots stationery uh, department and what Boots did, they named their pens, they gave it a range and this one being if we show the imprint there this was the Chatsworth or the Chatsworth pen as you can see a lovely clear imprint incidentally the Chatsworth pen was actually named after Chatsworth House which is in Derbyshire in England and Chatsworth House was the home to well the duke and the duchess of devonshire they the house itself chatsworth house was also it's actually been passed down 16 generations of the cavendish family so that's a brief history of chatsworth house so that's you know the, the range of pens the chatsworth pens were named after chatsworth house here well not too far from me actually in Derbyshire okay back to the pen as you can see it comes in superb condition all I've actually done is put a new sack in it giving it a wipe the pen itself is in superb condition it's a lever fill pen as you can see like so if we take you to the cap there you can see it's got quite a thin cap band there and if we take you to the clip there very recognizable burnham clip let's give you a sideways view the only difference being instead of having the, the word burnham you can see it's got the word boots on the top of the clip there to the very top there it's got this slightly peaked stud to the top of the cap which complements sort of the end of the barrel there incidentally the condition of this pen as i say is absolutely superb um, a lot of these pens, even in the, the Burnham range, you'll find that the clip basically is now silver. A lot of pens, when they sold, you, you know, they, they quoted as having a silver clip. The reason being is that the clips or the, the gold wash at the time was very thin and they wear very easily. If you see on this particular one, it's as if it's just come out of the factory it still retains the gold plate or the gold wash very unusual 
and very rare as far as I'm concerned. So a beautiful, beautiful example. The size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 128 millimeters cut. And on the barrel, it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter. So all in all, superb pen in absolutely superb like original condition. Incidentally, this is the black one. They also made them in different colored marbles, etc., which were very attractive as well. But this one, as you can see, absolutely superb. As you could see with the, the box itself, the original box, whether it's been used or not, I do not know. All I've done is given it a wipe, put a new sack in the put a new sack in the pen. Let's give you a couple of twirls, show you it in different angles. A beautiful, beautiful pen in superb condition. The section slightly tapers towards the nib with this little ridge towards the nib. And if we show you the nib there. Okay, you'll see it says warranted 14 karat gold. So that was a standard nib for these pens in the period, even with the Burnham. Let's show you a sideways view. Let's show you the feed. You can see it's got this very typical Burnham feed to the bot there. Well, in, by all intents and purposes, it's a Burnham pen, as we said earlier, made by Burnham for boots the stationers as we said from around about the 1950s a nice size not a small pen not a large pen but still with my hands i would say still quite comfortable to to hold and to write with right what i'm going to do because i've put a new sack in it because of the condition of the pen um what i'd rather do is let the new owner you know, decide whether they want to actually just collect it and exhibit the pen or whether they actually want to physically use the pen, it's up to them. But just for this particular writing sample, in fact what I've done, I've just got a little bit on the on the section there. So I'm just dipping the pen and as we said what we've got is the The Chatsworth, Chatsworth pen, we're dating it from the 1950s. Let's just dip it again. It's writing very nicely. Um, it's got a, a warranted 14 karat gold nib um, yeah and again made by well made by Burnham for boots boots the stationers as I say boots are still going strong as a pharmacy as a chemist here in the UK um, but at that particular period of the 1950s they did have a stationary department um, and what they did they actually asked or whatever Burnham to make the pens for them which they did let me just give it a wipe and then we'll give it a good flush and then we'll find a new home for it superb pen with the original box in excellent condition as I say very rare that you find these pens with the gold still intact. Most times it actually wears and what you'll find is these pens have a silver coloured, well, a silver coloured clip. Beautiful in like new original condition. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget, like subscribe and if you possibly can support my work but for now i'll just say bye bye for now